This is how we make the moonshine. In the Great Smoky Mountains, when a cold snap stalled fermentation of their sweet potato mash, Mark and Digger rigged a makeshift water heater to kickstart the process. Let's see what we're going to do. Oh, this is perfect. Hell yeah. Plenty of alcohol. It ain't sweet. That's what we're looking for. After days of babysitting their mash, keeping it at an optimal 60 to 70 degrees, it's finally ready to run. We've had the baby this mash warming it up daily so the yeast keep working. Finally, 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 we think we're ready. Now, we're gonna have to get a fire going. Yep. Damn. <laughs> oh, damn. <sighs> you blowing that? No, I ain't sure my butthole's still there, but hate when that happens. Let's get some mash moving, puss. I wasn't optimistic coming in here, but this is money in our pocket. All we got to do is deliver the liquor. It's sold. It's ready to go. If we had it ready right now, we'd go get our money. It's still steaming a little bit, Digger. Is it? Well, it's just because it's so cold out here. Yeah. If we can just get this run, everything will be hunky-dory. Let's light them up. There we go. Smell that? My hair. It's been a long, hard run, ain't it? It's pretty damn tough. You just can't lay down and give up. We got to keep pushing forward. That's all our predecessors in this business did. That's why they were in the business to start with. Times was hard. They had to push forward. But if it hadn't been for the price that this fella named, $55 a quart, I'd have bailed out a long time ago. Well, listen to that thump kick. It's a cut in the fuss. It ought to be liquor coming. There we go. Look you under, Hattie boy. I got liquor coming too, puss. Fine stream of liquor. Well, it's just catch them and wait, ain't it? Pretty much where we're at. With weather like this, you don't know how it's gonna perform, so hopefully it'll cook off the right way and it'll come off the way we want to. We'll have some good liquor. There's one jug. I've got a full one. <sighs> yeah, it's too hot. But it's got a fire taste. Has it? Yeah. I ain't drank no more, but that's damn 160, 70 proof liquor. I'll, mm. I'll be laying there in them yeah. damn weeds. Sweet tater liquor tastes a damn sight better than just plain old sweet tater. <laughs> you think? I'm not crazy about sweet taters to begin with, but cold as it was tonight, it was mighty pleasurable just to have a little swallow of it. We got 11 gallons and a heavy half. I'm happy. I'm happy. Oh, I'm shickled titless. What do you think? We made what we had planned on and then some. I say, let's kill the fire and let's go to the house. Well, hillbilly water heater. Hot damn where, where we are today. We ain't coming no news. Not no good news. Boy, she parked way up yonder, didn't she? Hey, sis. Bam. Two states northeast in Cock County, Tennessee, Mark and Digger are checking in on Pam Sutton who asked them to help find a stash of moonshine her husband, Popcorn, may have hidden a decade ago. You know, it's pretty tiresome to be coming back with nothing every time. I mean, we've chased down several little leads. We've sweated, we've cussed, we've kicked, and it's been to no avail. We can't find the damn thing that's getting us any closer to this liquor at this point. Well, we found the old truck. There wasn't no liquor in that truck. There wasn't no sign of no liquor in that truck. Wasn't even a jar lid. Um, we found Popcorn's old axe. It's got his damn name carved in the handle. Oh, there. right there. I see it. We just thought that its rightful place would be hanging here on the wall with these other tools, so. All right. Do you yeah. remember Popcorn using that axe? I don't remember Popcorn using it much other than carrying it. Yeah. And uh, he had rid under that visor. We did pull the visor down to look, see if anything was stuck up there, and he had wrote that Bible verse he is all the time spouting out. He just turned the water into wine. By God, I turned it into liquor. Mm -hmm. That writing on the visor, it, it was in his hand. You Jesus know. turned the water, and he wrote it a few places. He's done that to me well, many a time. it's his rendition of the verse. Yeah, Jesus yeah, turned yeah. The water it ain't really water. come. <laughs> it ain't really the exact one from yeah. the book of John. I remember on our honeymoon, he took me up there to his parents' house. Mm -hmm. And he sat there and told me about how daddy taught him how to make liquor and showed me where, and we sat on the porch, and. He showed me that saying that he had scratched out with a nail or something on the little door that goes under the porch, like the crawl space. Hmm. Really? told me to uh, remember it. 
Well, I never thought nothing about it. He always told me I never listened anyway, so. You ended up doing a good job if you had time to go write something on the porch. I know. <laughs> uh, he done, uh, it, was it already wrote there, or did he write it there while you no, was with him? No, it was him? done there. Hmm. It was already wrote on Lethe's old house, sir. Well, he'd been frequenting up there a little bit then. Yep. Is that the first time you'd ever been up there with yeah, him? Yeah, that's the first time I'd ever been there. Pam brings a little something else to the table that she remembers one other place that uh, he had scribbled that uh, down. It was an old house up where Popcorn was born and raised on a crawl space door going up under the porch to a storm cellar type thing. Was he telling you to remember the saying or the location? At the time, I was thinking the saying, but uh, now I'm wondering. Well, Digger, I guess our damn Chores cut out for us. Yep, we gotta go. We're gonna see if we can get it, baby. I love you. I love you too. Thank you. Maybe we'll be back with something. I hope. At this point, we have nothing else at all to go on. But honestly and truly, this is the most promising lead we've had so far. So we're, we're gonna look and see and take a chance. We got everything to gain and nothing to lose. You all be careful. Here we come. Yeah. It's 50 miles one way up here. It's a little over 50. Deep in the hills near Maggie Valley, North Carolina, Mark and Digger are headed to an old family property that Pam and Popcorn Sutton used to visit. I remember on our honeymoon, he took me up there to his parents' house. Mm -hmm. He showed me that little door that goes under the porch and yeah. told me to uh, remember it. You know, Popcorn blabbered on about stuff all the time. He always carried on. Uh, every one of these clues, it's come up unfounded. So I think this is just another one, but we're gonna put it to rest just for Pam's sake. She'll know that we did. I ain't been up here in 15, 17 years. I ain't never been. Well, it's high time you did. You should've went a long time ago when it was fun. I mean, this, is, this was her every Wednesday trip. I never did take them trips. I was smarter than you was. You weren't smart, we had a ball. Yeah, I remember you were talking about it in your damn head of thought the next Thursday. Yeah, but it was a lot of fun there on Wednesday. <laughs> Man been thinking this probably wouldn't have been the place to start it. We didn't know that, though. We didn't have no reason to start here. Well, I hope we hit a lick, but I don't think you need to get your hopes up too high. I'm, I'm a little bit hopped up about it. Well, I've hopped up a plenty, but I know that it could be another water hall. I know, but you know, if it ain't here, it ain't here. But wouldn't it be something, though, if we get up here and that liquor's really there and we could take it home to her? Damn, wouldn't oh, that be it'd good? Be ideal. It tickled the hell out of me. Yeah, and we could be done with it. Yeah, that's the tickling part I'm after. This was a goat trail back in the day. Well, that ain't no good right there. What's that, no trespassing? No trespassing. Yeah, we ain't really. You ain't trespassing long as the gates open, are you? Exactly. Deep in the backwoods of North Carolina, Mark and Digger are searching for an old cabin where Popcorn Sutton's parents once lived. Holy hell. Dead end. That thing just got a little more interesting up here. You want to go move them stuff? I'll get them out of the way. Just by looking at the driveway, it's obvious that there's not been any people back in here for a long, long time. You want me happy? Nah. All right, I'll just sit here and drink my drink. Turn the radio on to listen to the music. Damn. That's a damn fine job of brush clearing if I've ever seen it. At least don't look like there's been nobody here. That scratched it up pretty. Can you get that all by yourself? Are you me? No, but there's the house. Is that the house? That's the house. That's Popcorn's mom and daddy. Yeah, this is Bonnie and Vader. Been here a time or two. What about that? First time I've ever been here. It looks like it's about had it, don't it? Yeah, a few more limbs on it. So this is the porch that Pam was talking about. Yeah. What about that? There's the door for this. You want to swing that door open and get the good news or me? I'm about halfway scared to. All right. You know, this little journey that we've had searching this lost liquor, we've not had much luck, but we've enjoyed it. It's brought a lot of memories out about our friend. You know, popcorn hid liquor all over the place. It could be anywhere. But we, you know, we, we may be in the right place. Give me the damn light. These cobwebs. There's some boxes in there, puss. Wonder if there's anything in them. Go ahead and look. I'll hold you hat. God almighty. Oh. You all right? Wait a minute. Hmm. 
down. Four boxes. Tell me. Well, Digger. What? Uh, these boxes is damn emptier than last year's bird's nest. Huh. There ain't nothing in these boxes, honey. Sadly, not a nothing. Junk, crap, no liquor, nothing that interests us at all. Well, that ain't worth a damn. Ah, uh, hell. Damn. Wait a minute. What in the world? Look here. What? Look yonder, puss. You see what I'm saying back there? Yeah, that's not that's not board and batten. That's old plywood. That's been put in there after that porch is built. It don't go the full length of that porch either. We noticed there's two different pieces of plywood that's partitioning under this porch off. It's blocking it off from the rest of this porch. And uh, that leads us to believe there's another section we need to get in and look at. That wall is right in front of this, this, right now, this chair. Right there. That plywood's right there. So this is that falls here. Let me see that light over here. Hey, something in there, please. Right there they are. I see boxes, baby man. Oh, there's all hell's of boxes under there. Look at there. Oh, hell. Ha, ha. I'm gonna run down here and get a pry bar. All right. I'll be back. Hurry up. Can we be that lucky?